Hi everyone, welcome to my Autodesk screencast. My name is Zan Ta and I work for Repo Products in Smyrna, Georgia. I'm an Autodesk certified instructor and hold many certifications in multiple Autodesk products for the AEC industry. I hope you enjoy my screencast. If you'd like to see more of my screencasts, please search for VAR 2015, that's V-A-R 2015, or my name. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up after you watch it. In today's screencast, we'll be taking a look at how to create three-dimensional model text that actually is cutting into a wall. As you can see here, I've got a couple walls where 3D model text is cut. So how do I do this? First off, go to the plan view, create a wall, I head over to the elevation, and I create my 3D model text. Pick the plane that I want to work off of, which is this face of that wall, and we'll create some text. We'll place it. We'll select that 3D model text and make thing adjustments like maybe the center. We'll then select that 3D model text, go back into plan view, and verify that it cuts through the wall. So here I'll say minus one foot six and it'll cut through that wall if I want the 3D model text to go through the entire wall. If not, and I just want to go inside a little bit, I'll do this. Let's do minus 9 inches. Okay. And then we'll select that 3D model text, go back to the view so we can see what we're dealing with. We can right click, override the graphics of that object, and change its surface transparency to 100%. We'll then use the Join Geometry tool to join the 3D model text with that wall. And now that you've done this, you can see you've got 3D model text cutting into that wall. Now, because I didn't have it go through the entire wall, this back side should not be cut, whereas this one is. And that's how you make 3D model text that's cut into the wall. Thank you very much for watching my screencast, and uh, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up.